Let's add a version to a course. Let's take Hockey 100, and instead of just the front-facing marketing side, let's actually build out what someone would typically think is a course. What you're going to click next is Add New Version. In Add New Version, you'll see a couple different settings, but the main one that's important is Site Name. This will identify this version of the course internally. We're just going to give it initial creation for now. Section information allows you to define more logistics about uh, this version in terms of offering it to students. And we won't go over that at this time. You can also override what the traditional workflow is and create almost a vanity nameplate for your course. But we'll let it create the name that it's going to generate predefined. Content template allows you to use instructional design best practices to create a content hierarchy by itself. We're going to go with a unit topical outline and we're going to create three lessons worth of units. By default, all content is OER and notes. You can also make it closed to enrollment sections and utilize the user management aspect of the system to enroll students in the course. For now, we're going to showcase the OER version. Once you put in your site name, you can click Save. This will effectively generate a version of this course for you. You can see you get a working course space. And this may be what you're more familiar with when the word ELMS is used. You can see we have an introduction, and we have three units of instruction over on the side because of the instructional design template that was used. The interface has changed slightly. So on the left now, we can open this up and see we have contextualized options specific to this version. The most popular one is Content Outline, which has been brought to the forefront. From here, you can then administer your version, add content, and watch some of the other videos that go into more detail about content outlining functionality. To modify different individual settings associated to this version, click Version Settings. Version settings then get into greater detail as to whether or not you want to import or export information, edit that last page that we just went through to create the version, manage the instructional design toolkit to turn functionality on and off, look at some overview statistics, manage users, change the site information such as this saying Hockey 100, as well as some theme settings because Elms comes with 15 different themes and should be able to work with almost any Drupal.org compliant theme. 